somebody asked me once upon a time, but how do I make sure my autobiography isn't boring? What if I just write, I did this, I did that, and it's just all about me? Isn't it sounding kind of very self-centered? Isn't it going to be boring? And no, because there are many ways you can infuse variety in your story and so that it won't be so much uh, boring monotony. Here's one example. You can use dialogue. So you can carry on talking about, so I was born in this place and I grew up here, or let's get you a little older here. I went to school, I did high school here, and I remember we used to go play by the pond, uh, my friends and I, and I remember one particular day we bumped into somebody, and then you break into dialogue. Use quote open quote, he said that, I said this. So using dialogue, if you can remember, can actually really infuse some variety. Here's another example. Maybe it could be a, a seminal moment, a really important moment in your life. Maybe you got admission to a university you'd been really hoping to get into. Maybe you finally got the letter in the mail and you grabbed it and you ran into the house and Dad was sitting there, he was watching TV or he was working on something. And I said, Dad, Dad, I have the letter. And he got up and said, well, why don't we open it? So you can infuse dialogue because there are things that are so special in someone's life that you find you remember it so well. I remember it like it was yesterday. You know, people say things like that. And those moments that meant so much, meant so much that you still remember them years and decades later, those are, are moments you could describe in dialogue style in your autobiography. And in that manner, you get to infuse some useful variety and it won't be some boring, monotonous sort of um, design that makes for really fun reading in anyone's story. Hi, I'm Dr. Uche. I'm your friendly publisher, biography writing coach, book reviewer, a real life physician too. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit subscribe. That way you know when I upload new videos, share with your family and friends, follow me on this fascinating journey as I talk all about stories on this channel, children's book read aloud sessions, fiction from across the diaspora, and tips to help you on your journey to writing your biography. You take care and I'll see you in my next video. to think that all of us are a product of our experiences, including things you did that you feel good about having done and things you wish you had done differently. And when someone is looking at you from a different perspective, sort of looking into your life story to up, to, up to a particular point, they might wonder about certain decisions you made. So writing your autobiography or your biography gives a unique opportunity or rather affords, affords one a unique opportunity to look back and say, this decision I made, I know it was controversial, but it really did work out in the long run. At the time I made this decision, I wasn't certain. It did cause a lot of strife in my family, but in retrospect, it was a good thing for me because of one, two, three. So you really get a chance to explain away things that happened in the past. Now, mind you, one of the strengths or one of the great things about writing a story is you give somebody else an opportunity to learn from your journey, to not have to reinvent the wheel, right? Uh, somebody can use your story as a roadmap. This is what you did here. And so I can actually try this because somebody did it and it worked. I remember reading Michelle Obama's Becoming 
and her recent book, I'm forgetting, The Light We Carry, and thinking, wow, I think I need to give my children more responsibility because I feel like I'm doing this and that and that for them, but they can actually do it for them, for themselves. And I was amazed when I gave my seven-year-old responsibility to get up, get dressed for school. He did it like a champ. And I said to myself, why have I been stressing myself out trying to do all this every morning, right? But he's able to put himself together. He was able to, I set an alarm clock, he woke him up, he got dressed and so on and so forth. So what I'm getting at is how somebody else's story can be a roadmap for somebody else. So do not underestimate the, the power in your story. Be sure to describe controverse, controversial aspects be sure to describe strengths, uh, successes, mistakes. All those make for very interesting reading in your story. I'll see you in my next video.